Hey, what's going on guys? It's Xeno here to bring you episode 3 of Undertale. Last episode, we faced off against the Lesser Dog. We met Papyrus and Sands. Oh my lord, that is, <laughs> like, that is crazy. The Lesser Dog, man, that, that tripped me out. But anyways, uh, so in this episode, we're gonna try and get to the first village, and yeah. So, before I even get further into the episode, let me just say, the support on this series has been insane. Like, I did not expect this much support for this, honestly. Um, but just thank you guys so much and I just thought I would go ahead and just acknowledge the fact that the support has been unreal as of late and because I don't want to just you know completely ignore it you know so anyways just thank you guys thank you very much for all the support that you give me it it really means the world I know every youtuber says that but me like it it really means the world and it's just it's crazy that so many people just already enjoy the series like it's absolutely crazy so last episode we died by these guys because i was at a pretty low health and i didn't heal because i'm dumb and so anyways let's go ahead and get right back into it what's this what's that smell where's that smell if you're a smell identify your smell <laughs> identify your smell i didn't really catch that last time the smell the your identify your your smell i think he said yeah hmm here's that weird smell it makes me want to eliminate you so anyways let's try this again so dug i uh, okay um they oh i didn't notice that it was a girl <laughs> i thought they were both guys um so <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and um roll around you roll around in the dirt and snow you smell like a weird puppy yeah um god i don't i still don't know how to go about this Oh yeah, like that! There we go, yeah, there we go. Okay, so they want to re-sniff, so sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. Alright. And like Sans said, uh, you can get hit by the blue hearts. No problem. Okay, the dogs think you may be a lost puppy, so we can't spare them yet. Um, let's go ahead and re-sniff again. Already know you smell fine. <laughs> alright. Go. All right, we can just avoid all those attacks. Awesome. So, um, they think I can be our lost puppy, so let's pet them. You pet Doug Amy. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, by the way, guys, you you guys may have, may remember, may have, may remember. You guys may remember, um, I was talking about, um, telling a story that's uh, very embarrassing. Um, I'm still trying to decide, honestly. Um, I really don't know, because it's just, I don't know, like, to me, it's just, it's really embarrassing, and the chances of, uh, like, the chances that my teacher would find it are very, very high, and so I just, I, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, it's, it's not happening, um, if, if, I probably will do it, honestly, um, just because it, it's a really funny story and it's really embarrassing and it's just I think a lot of people would really enjoy it um, God, we still can't spare these guys why not anyways um but just the chances of my teacher finding it like it it's it's too high honestly like if, if they find it then like I'm I'm done you know like my school career like my repeat or my school reputation would just be killed i'd probably have to take down the video anyways if they ever found it so i, I think it's best if i just i don't know if i tell me what you guys want me to do because i mean i'll do it it's just i have to heavily heavily mask like the identities of these people and like my identity because it's 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 uh it's pretty bad i'm not gonna lie it's pretty bad um but you know my identity is already out there well not all of it i'm i'm probably never ever gonna say my last name on this channel like ever but anyways uh i'll get back into that after we're done with this cutscene so sorry excuse me for a second okay i'm back sorry about that so dogs can pet other dogs a new world has been opened for us thanks weird puppy <laughs> all right so um but yeah i just i don't know that i i want to do it but at the same time i don't want to just because like it's embarrassing and if my teachers find it and the the possibility of them finding it is just too high but you know i mean i, I want to do it I, I really want to do it like you know they they all of them already know about it at this point so why what's the point of not doing it you know like i might as well tell the story because I'm, I'm not embarrassing anybody but myself so i don't see why they would really get that mad about it but anyways so let's let's continue with the story what how did you avoid my trap 
And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I... left it? But I think the right answer would be ate it. Really? Wow. <laughs> no one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, uh, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. Alright. So, we're just going to keep on going and talk to Papyrus. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy ta taking care of him. Mm, let's never ever do that laugh. <laughs> Alright, so basically we have to get all of the X's to O's. Human. Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now, the solution is different, and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around, so I suppose what I'm trying to say is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum, then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try to... to bleh, <laughs> feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. And it's pretty obvious. Oh, and if you read the sign, this is what it says. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Yep, that. <laughs> just in case if you're slower. <laughs> no offense. Okay, so then we do that. And... Oh, f yep, we gotta do it again. Do it again. And that's it. There's the puzzle. Wow, you solved it, and you did it all without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure that I skipped over the text. It might even be too easy for you. And, yeah, he's gonna go do another puzzle, so let's, let's go. And there's Sans again. Hey, why didn't you ask for help? I was right here. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I, I, I kind of forgot the voice I did for uh, Sans, so forgive me. <laughs> hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles, however, are electric. They will electrocute you, obviously. Green tiles are alarm tiles. Tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, so which piranhas do not like? Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Or understand? <laughs> and yes. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. No. No, I did not mean to do that. Okay, yeah, we're, we're good. Yes. Alright. Oh, oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to skip over that text. Okay. That has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Get ready. And this is a totally legit. We, we totally have to do this. We, yeah, we totally have to do it. And... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what? <laughs> you just... Okay. So... Alright. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Oh, oh god, this is Sans. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even be more something edible. He'll make something more edible. Oh my goodness, my, my speech impediment is back. <laughs> the machine isn't working. Okay. And... Oh, what is this? This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. That's nice. Okay, read the sign. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. <laughs> On the floor inside is a box of Pomeranians. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, God, I just saved the area recording, didn't I? Oh, uh... This, this is bad. <laughs> this is real bad. Okay. Um, 
The dog considered itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Yeah, that, that, that probably would not help. Okay, so we gotta turn every X into O, just like... Okay, <laughs> just like last time. So, there, 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 there. There, finally got it. Man, that was so annoying. I don't know why. That was such an easy puzzle. Like, how could I not get that, honestly? Gosh. Okay. Alright, let's go. And there's Sans. What's up, man? Okay. Oh. Oh. Um. I don't know how to feel about- wait. Uh, <laughs> what is this, a gift trot? Confronts you, okay. Alright, um, let's decorate. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. <laughs> Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 there we go. Okay. Stumbles blindly. Aww. Let's give it a gift. Uh, refuses. Okay, you don't gotta be a douche about it. Okay. Oh, he hello, Al. O okay, alright. <laughs> Cheerio is falling from the sky. All right, um, let's undecorate. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> okay, and more Cheerios. All right. Eyes you with suspicion. Um, let's gift it. Refuses my gift again. Like, jeez, man. All right, so it's this one. All right. Uh, the scent of fresh pine needles. Okay, how do I spare this guy? Uh, let's let's keep decorating it. Um, right. oh, oh, man, whoa, hello, uh, ow, so let's decorate again, you can't improve on perfection, <laughs> oh, that's great, that's true, though, you can't improve on perfection, I should know, I'm perfect, alright, um, so, like, what do I do? I, I don't know what to do, honestly, like, I, I really don't know what to do, um, let's undecorate again. Like, I, I legit have no clue what to do in order to spare this battle. Distrust your youthful demeanor. Don't put- Oh, so like, am I supposed to press spare over and over again, or...? Eyes you with suspicion, okay. So let, let's go ahead and eat the butterscotch pie. And... Okay. Okay, so let's try again. Is this funny to you? No, I just- I don't want to kill you, it's as simple as that. Laments its lack of hands, okay. Don't put any more on me. Okay. I'm not. I'm waiting for you to let me go. Why is he okay, well what do I do? Oh, oh I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Oh I'm supposed to undeck I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. Holy crap. Okay. Slightly less irritated. Okay, let's keep un undecorating it. The f filled with chicken nuggets. What? That's a little bit better. All right. Let's keep undecorating. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. What? Okay. So, all right. That was um. Wow. <laughs> wow, that took forever. Holy crap. Say, are you following me? Uh, no, you just, uh, appeared out of nowhere on my screen. Oh, wait, I never went to this place. What's this? Um, it's a door. Okay, well, what kind of door? Uh, wait. I turn off all of these. Um, let's turn on that one and that one. This is obviously a puzzle, so I'm gonna try and figure this out. 
okay? I've tried, like, every possible, like... I've tried, like, every possible way to do this, and it's not working. I don't know. We'll come back to it later, though, so, um, yeah. That, that's, uh, that's something. I don't know how to solve that. No clue. <laughs> I don't have any hints, so I'm not even gonna attempt it anymore. So let's just go down the intended path. It's a snow path, okay. What a tiny doghouse, alright. So let's go ahead and... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a little dog. It's so cute. Psych! That's the wrong number! Okay, let me stop. I'm never doing that again. The, the, the music in this battle trips me out. It, it speaks my life. Just take a listen. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, let's... Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's pet him. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the ear. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Really? Alright, waiting for my command. Okay, let's play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Okay. And you're a douchebag spear. Alright. Is waiting for your command again. So let's let's beckon it. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking slobber onto your face. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, ow. Uh, ow, stop. I just died. I just died. I just died. Wow. <laughs> That's embarrassing. You're going to be alright. Daniel, stay determined. That was BS. That was total BS. Honestly. Alright, let me get back up to the point where I was. I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, I just screwed up. No! No, oh my- No, stop. No. Oh my god. No, what? What? Okay, that better have been solved. That better- Oh my god. No! How? Alright, we're back at the greater dog. Oh my goodness, that was so annoying. I got stuck on the little puzzle, like, so, for such a like, four minutes. It was terrible. So anyways, let's go ahead and beckon the greater dog over. And this is the fake spear. Okay, let's, uh, pet him. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up! It's so excited. <laughs> Oh, oh god, no, 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 okay. Um, patting the ground with its front paws. Okay, let's play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. A greater dog picks it up and skips over the dialogue. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Aw, so cute. Um wants to oh wants some tender love and care all right let's pet him as you pet the dog it sinks its entire weight into you your movement's slow but you still haven't pet enough okay no 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 <laughs> okay capacity is 40 percent all right let's keep petting you pet decisively pet capacity reaches 100 percent the dog flops over it with its legs hanging in the air oh my god this is so annoying Oh, we can spare it. Okay. All right. Great. Good deal. Amazing. It's so cute. No. It's so adorable. <laughs> okay. So let's continue on. And yeah. Oh, and one of the suggestions I saw in the comments was to make the videos longer. So this this episode will be a little bit longer than the other ones, not by much, just to gauge how much you guys like it because yeah. And Papyrus, yo, my dude. <laughs> okay. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. <laughs> what? When I say the word, it will fully activate. <laughs> Look at the dog. Look at the dog spinning. <laughs> Cannons will fire. Spikes will swing. Blades will slice. Each part will swipe violently, or swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Alright. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. Look at the dog, it's still swinging. 
that uh, that doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. The way it goes. Alright. Phew, alright. Now, I, I, I kind of feel like Papyrus would have a more flamboyant voice, but I, I, I can't do it right now. <laughs> I just can't. Okay, what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, huh? <laughs> I like how I said it with a question mark. Alright, so let's continue. And talk to Sans. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Alright. So, I do. It's pretty self-explanatory. And now we're in our first town, Snowden. And we're going to be we're gonna keep on playing. Because I know I said I'd end it whenever I got to the first town. But, you know, I'm going to keep on playing. So, yeah, let's keep on going. Uh, excuse me for a second. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. Okay, and let's buy a... Something for defense? Yeah, let's buy this. Okay, so let's... Let's, uh, let's exit. And control, and items, and manly bandana use. Alright, so now our defense is up a little bit. And let's just keep on going. I don't really want to talk to anybody, except for this girl. I've heard of her. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> okay. Um, let's keep on playing. And see where we go. Alright, let's uh, go. Oh my god, I did not... That was completely unintentional. I'm not even joking. Wow, that was terrible. I'm never doing that again. Okay. And our screen is getting frosted over, and each step we take, it gets more and more. And... Oh, okay, so I guess we're going to fight Papyrus now. Alright, human. Allow me to tell you something about complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be just what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papa will be your wait for it no no this is all wrong I can't be your friend you are a human I must capture you then I can fulfill my lifelong dream powerful popular prestigious that's papyrus the newest member of the royal guard all right Ooh, this song is amazing papyrus blocks the way and yeah, he he's totally sassy. Yeah, just look at his pose. <laughs> okay, so let's flirt with Papyr with Papyrus. Okay, what for flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Let's do that. Oh no, that humility reminds me of myself. <laughs> You're meeting all my standards. <laughs> okay, uh, that's funny. Oh, that, that was it. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Okay, let's uh, keep flirting. Oh no, let's date later after I capture you. Okay. And this, I guess this is it. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Um, can we like... You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later. Okay. So I guess that was a hint to stop acting and to mercy. So let's spare. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Alright. And I can. It's fairly easy. You just don't move. <laughs> that, that's basically it. Honestly. 
Oh, oh, okay. All right, you're blue now. That's my attack. Okay. Ooh, the music changed. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I love this song. Okay, so let's. Uh... Oh, by the way, the blue heart that you can control your jumps. So like you can jump super high or super low, and I didn't get to show it. So try holding the up button jump. So like that. Uh, short hop. It, you don't do that if you don't if you if you want to basically not lose any health then don't sh just short jump it's pretty bad okay so let's bear again what I'm not talking I'm not thinking about that day thing all right and keep doing this and don't be like me don't screw this up over and over again oh I'm doing terrible holy crap okay let's uh let's eat some snow piece all right I love this song. Um, but oh, at my school, one of my friends actually got sheet music for Bone Trozel, and let me just say, it is so, oh, wow, <laughs> it's pretty hard. Um, but that guy is like a genius with music, so I mean, it should really be no problem for him. It's just the amount of mallets that he has to hold is insane. It's crazy. Um, so yeah. Well, you're supposed to do it with like one mallet, but he plays like he's used to playing four at a time. So like, to him, uh, well, anyways. So to him, uh, Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Okay. But to him, uh, he per he just prefers to play with four. I think I'm pretty sure he just prefers that. <laughs> Whispers. Yeah. I have a feeling that would just sound like super. Um, I, I don't know how to describe that. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettor. Spaghettor? Okay then. Uh, oh my god, this. I'm... Okay. Papyrus is preparing an attack. Okay. So basically the same dialogue over and over and over again. Undyne will be really impressed. And Undyne is. I think he's like the main villain of the game. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not too sure about that, to be honest. Well, honestly, not too sure about that, to be honest. <laughs> it's trying hard to play cool. Alright, let's spare again. And, wow, that was so hard. Oh, man, uh, that tripped me out. Okay, time to heal. Again. Uh, butter pie. Oh, man. Eh, eh, stay in the middle. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're good. We're doing good. Alright, a non-bone attack that spends a minute fixing his mistakes. Or then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Okay. No, I did not. Okay. Oh god. Okay, trying hard to play it cool. Let's spare. Oh, this is his special attack. What the heck? That's my. Oh wow, I'm reading it in the wrong voice. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, w w what are you doing? No, stop. Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Oh no, cut. Sigh, here's another attack. Oh, okay, how was I supposed to dodge that, honestly? Like, how? I really do not know how I was supposed to dodge that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hate you. Oh, oh no, what? Oh, cool boo dude. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, or not. That was that was great. <laughs> I don't trust this. I I don't trust it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I swear to God, if I die. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Alright, let's spare. 
And has the fog been? Yep, it has. All right. New Hugh Hugh. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. <laughs> really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, uh, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> who knew that all I needed to who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then, us monsters will be set free. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home for being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Not saying that. <laughs> just, what is he doing? <laughs> Alright, so, this episode, we did a lot, holy crap, it, I've almost been recording for 40 minutes, wow, um, but anyways, uh, this episode was pretty, uh, eventful, I guess I would say, and let's not have that date yet, we're gonna hold off on that, cause it takes a pretty long time to do, and, yeah, well, not really, just, in my opinion, like, I don't want this to be, like, a 50 minute video, you know, but anyways, uh, so, this episode of Undertale, we fought Papyrus, uh, Got, got to Snowden, most importantly, and that's uh, basically it. So anyways, let's just go ahead and save again and again. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Undertale. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content from me, then subscribe, and to see that embarrassing story, well, it's coming. It's, <laughs> it, it's just, yeah. It's pretty bad. It, I'll just say that. It's pretty bad. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I cannot reiterate enough. Stay amazing, guys. And always remember that I love you guys. You guys are amazing, honestly. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Undertale. See you then.